Hey, Ronnie. Hello. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. You know what? We have not talked about the Fen Treasure in quite some time. It's been a while. And uh, we were going to do that along with some email that we've received in the very next, in fact, this episode of Men Are So Smart. So, Ronnie, before we get started too far into this, uh, we wanted to say thank you very much to all of the people that have watched our Fen Treasure episodes. There's a gang. Our our Fen Treasure Has Vanished episode has garnered nearly, I don't know, 12,000 views. Yep. And you can watch it right there as it pops into your screen. Uh, there's a link to it. Um, and so, over the last, oh, I don't know, six to eight months... You haven't heard much from us with regard to the Fen Treasure, and I think Ronnie would agree. The reason that we haven't talked about it a lot is because um, we don't want to keep rehashing old news. There's not a lot of new stuff coming up. And, you know, some people might dispute that, but the truth of the matter is no one's found the treasure. That really is the only news right. that there could be. Everything else is just an attempt at a solve. Right. And might I also say, you know, in our correspondence with many of our viewers, um, some have gone BOTG, yep, and others just continually guess at where that treasure might be. I, I, we've gotten probably, I don't know, 20 different solves sent to us. Yeah, and thousands of emails. Right. And... Uh, you know, and, and a lot of people that say they have solved it by using all the clues are not searchers. So, in fact, you know what? Let me bring you this email here. It's from a gentleman by the name of Art B. And um, that's all we're going to tell you about. Uh, and and uh, he, he writes, my name is Art B and I am not a searcher. Here is why. I sent Mr. Fenn four emails to which he did not answer. Here it is below. Dear Mr. Finn, I have a simple yes or no question for you. I'd like to hunt for your hidden treasure, but I don't want to hunt for something that may not be out there anymore. Yep. My question is, can you offer proof that your hidden treasure is still where you placed it? Yes or no? will do for me. And he says, thank you, Art. And he gives his email address. And he, he goes on, Ronnie. Why don't, why don't you take it? So, Art goes on. Yeah. And he says now, and, and this is in his email to us, not to Forrest Fenn. Right. Uh, he says, now, Mr. Fenn does not choose to answer. My question is, why? It's a yes or no answer. I'm not asking for proof. I only wanted to know uh, if I had proof. And if so... I would leave it uh, somewhere. Oh, hold on a second here. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. If you had proof, and if so, I would leave it to someone else to extract what proof he had. So this leads me to one of two conclusions. Mr. Fenn does not want to answer, number one. Number two, Mr. Fenn did not read my uh, repeated emails. I think if he had proof that the treasure chest was still where he placed it, he would have simply answered yes to me. So does he even know if the treasure chest is still out there? Uh, your guest, Glenn, thinks it's gone because Mr. Fenn has not answered either of us raises concern for me. I'm not going to guess as to what I think. I'm just letting gentlemen, you gentlemen know that Mr. Fenn has chosen not to answer simple questions from multiple sources. Uh, and he goes on, oh, by the way, in your video, you mentioned that Mr. Fenn went into the location via horseback. Now, we mentioned that that could be a possibility. We right. didn't say that he did that. That's, in fact, I don't know of any sources that have said that, but that was just, it was conjecture on our part. Correct. Um, so my question is this, why wouldn't a horse be able to carry Mr. Fenn and the treasure chest at, at the same time? Why would he have to make two trips? That doesn't make sense. Okay, we'll stop right there. Uh, absolutely. And um, again, what we're suggesting on our program, and we'll continue with this in a moment, is this. Um, 
you know that all for one, one for all saying. Right. To this point, we have no solve that, that we're aware of. And, I, I, you know, the fact that somebody might be waiting 30 days before they say something, yeah, that's fine too, uh, but I doubt it. Uh, the other thing is, right now, uh, is really not... It's not best, search. Not search time. No, nah, weather is inclement at right. best. Yeah. And so um, the chances are not very good that someone is going to um, be tracking that treasure down. So all I'm saying is, um, it was just a suggestion and... If all of us pool some of our ideas together, and we hope to do that through our show by bringing you some of these ideas without divulging what other people are saying, we don't bring you information uh, from a person unless we have their uh, okay. Permission, right. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm saying is, everybody says, well, no, that couldn't be it. No, that couldn't be it. No, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't fit. All of that is fine, we understand. But you know what? <laughs> One for all, I think that's a better approach to this. Now, he goes on to say, also, I don't think pinion nuts are native to Montana. So that is a concern for me as well. Third, I believe Mr. Fenn stated more than one time that it was not dangerous where he hid the treasure. The area that Glenn describes sounds extremely dangerous, containing snakes and grizzly bears. Had to be snakes. It had to be snakes. <laughs> That's another concern for me, he says. Uh, and finally, regarding the home of Brown. This is so controversial, too. Many are going to tell you Brown is capitalized, which would rule out the color. Uh, that may or may not be correct. I'm not going to uh, litigate that. What I am concerned about is that I read it took Mr. Finn many years to write this poem, and he did it like an architect. Uh, I don't think an architect would misread or would mislead everyone by a simple typo. Additionally, it's my opinion uh, that out there some people have solved the first and second clue. Fenn said so, and he has pretty much said that. However, I don't believe anyone has solved the third clue, and I do believe the treasure chest is located somewhere between the second and third clue, which would require the searcher to circle back to the final resting spot. I think I understand what he's saying. I, I kind of get it. I'm not I'm not sure I agree with him, but I mean, that's a possibility. Uh, another problem he has is that I uh, have not been able to wrap my arms around the line, if you are wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. Uh, why would you need to look down quickly? Well, he goes on to say the reason you have to look quickly is because you're probably in motion and will lose sight of the final resting spot. That leads me to believe, and this is my interpretation, that you're heading downhill. And perhaps maybe it's so steep that um, you are that much in motion that you could go right past it. Uh, his conclusion, uh, Art says, I would not waste one second searching boots on the ground if Mr. Fenn cannot even state he has proof of the treasure chest, and it is where he placed it originally. This is what we're stumbling across, Ron, with most of the correspondence that we receive. Yeah. I know of one gentleman who is from Oklahoma, and he has allegedly made a trip and gone boots on the ground in the last uh, 30 days or so, more like two weeks. Uh, he had it plotted out. He knew exactly where he was going. I asked him for some pictures, which unfortunately he did not provide me with. Right. You had serious doubt about him finding the treasure in his search based on his clues. And, right. and I was extremely hopeful. He uh, actually, on his weekend off, drove from Oklahoma 17 straight hours to get uh, to where his location is and um, wasn't there. I mean, I'm, I, I can't wait for somebody to find the treasure. Well, sure. Uh, and so it's not that I'm like, oh, I hope he doesn't find it. I hope, I hope somebody finds it. But the when I read the clues, you know what? Some of the solves I've read seem spot on. But since we're not, since we're not boots on the ground people, there's a lot of stuff that is, you know, we're not out there kicking rocks, you know seeing things that other people are seeing 
And so we can't say for sure that a clue is a good solve or not. Um, Even if it were, it would be, you know, subjected to such critique right? Uh, based on the fact that it may or may not be a, a brand new idea. Now, I will say this in Forrest Fan's defense. Okay, how many emails do you get a day? I probably get 50. Uh, probably 30 or 40. Yeah, I probably get 50 emails a day. And I would say probably 40 of them, I just delete. There's advertisements. They're not spam. They're things that I've subscribed to, but I don't want to read them every day. Uh, can you imagine if you had $10 million roughly sitting out there, how many emails you would receive a day from people wanting anything? I read that uh, uh, Forrest is, is no longer accepting visitors uh, or telephone calls. And so his communication is, in fact, limited on purpose just to email. So right. uh, I heard I read a person say that he he reads each and every one of them, but he only responds to certain ones. Um, in this particular case, one of my replies uh, to Art was that um, I have a person who I'm in contact with who says that he or she has had three communications with Forrest Fan. That's hard to believe, but uh, it's possible. Yeah, you um, know, it's possible. I, I mean, we've even we've sent him emails. We've invited him to the show. So, um, and we haven't received any replies either. Yeah, I really didn't anticipate that we no, would. No, but um, you know, you got to try it. Sure. We well, we know we've been on both sides of this fence. Um, whether you decide that that's good or bad, uh, it, but what we're finding is this: people are coming up with their solves. They are going boots on the ground and they're not finding the treasure and they're saying that it's been taken. Right. Either by someone who's found it or that Forrest Fenn removed the treasure from its location back at a time when the government was asking and local government and, and police enforcement uh, were asking him to call off the search because people were dying. Right. And... Um, it's it's true, and, and I think quite honestly, that had it's, he it's true that people were dying. I'm sorry. It, yeah, that's yeah. We we're not saying it's true that it's gone. We're right. saying it's true that people were dying. There's like six deaths, I think. Um, but I think I just have this this little thing inside of me that says if he pulled the treasure, he would say he pulled the treasure. Um, I think he has no far reason. too much integrity. To do something like that. Right. There's there's no reason for him not to say, hey, I was under a lot of pressure and some scrutiny and I was looking at getting sued. I had to pull the treasure. Nobody would fault him for that. Nobody would say, oh, well, suck it up, dude. Take your chances. Take him to court. Let him take you to court. Um, no, nobody is going to willfully subject themselves to being sued for millions of dollars in a wrongful death suit when he could simply go out there and pull the treasure. So mm -hmm. I don't think he has pulled the treasure. Uh, and so what that brings us is right back to square one. Uh, clue one, clue two, and somewhere between two and three, Art alleges that's where the treasure is. Yeah, I, I tend to think that it's like a treasure map. I think you have to follow each clue in order um, and that it's once you get to that last clue, that's that's where it's going to be. But All right, well, there you have it. Th those are just a few of the communications that we have with people around the world who are searching in some capacity for the Forest Fen treasure. Um, we appreciate your communication. Yeah. I can tell you that when you send us an email or take your time to leave a comment below, uh, we do our very best to get back to you yep. uh, almost immediately. Yep. And um, our email addresses... Once again, let's give those. Mine is Lou, L-O-U, at mentorsosmart.com. And mine is Ronnie, R-O-N-N-I-E, at mentorsosmart.com. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. We hope you enjoyed this program. I know it was a re revolutionary information, uh, but uh, we wish there was some to report on. It's up to the date, though. I it, mean, it's right. It's mm, happening this minute. Uh, uh <sighs> We, we have people that constantly are sending their solves to this, and that shows that the communication and the effort is still being made yep. to try to find this treasure. 
And uh, as Ronnie said moments ago, we, we hope that one of you does find it. I'd, I'd be thrilled. Uh, there's not really much that we can do. You can share your solves with us, but please do me a favor. Don't send us 30 emails a day. All right. And, and when, <laughs> when, you know, here's the time to send us an email. When you think you've got it narrowed down to one exact location and you're not going to wiggle either way on it. Right. Uh, because that's, I mean, that's what we get a lot. And, and really, we don't have time for uh, a different guess every day. Right. So please, uh, yeah. remember and, that. And trust that we're not going to share any of the information that you list with anybody else. So I had permission from Art. And, to, and to, he, for, to, to go into this email, mm -hmm. yes. He said that we could use this email on our show. Right. Thank you very much. And, and if you feel the same way, we'd be glad to do that too. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the best that we, we have for you. Uh, we wish it was more. Uh, we don't criticize any of the other shows that are fan treasure related. Um, you guys, you know, more power to you. Um, if you can find more ways of putting on a show other than talking about somebody's solve or your own, that's great. Run with it. Um, but, you know, again, it's all guesstimation. Yeah. It's all one person's opinion, and so far, no one's been right. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you on the very next Men Are So Smart. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell. Men are so smart. It's cold. I'm telling you, I'm freezing. Dang.